Welcome back guys, Docker 2 received a new update a few days ago in the form of patch 1.3. This is the update log. I'll give its link in the description of the video. This update includes over 1200 changes and improvements to all aspects of the game. I'll be honest, the game's performance is still very disappointing. I don't recommend playing this game on ROG Ally, but it's up to you. In this video, I'll be showing you how to use Nukem 9's mod to combine XCSS subscaler with FSR 3.1 frame generation. The game officially supports FSR 3.1. Even the upscaler is decoupled from FSR frame generation, but it does not support Anti-Lag 2, which helps in cutting down the latency. I'll be enabling Anti-Lag 2 via Fake Megahouse Fake NV API. I'll be using OptiScaler mod to inject Nukem 9's mod in this game. I'll be running the PC Game Pass version of the game. Before installing the mods, would like to thank Keymailer and Xbox for providing me with a free monthly subscription of PC Game Pass. This subscription gives us access to hundreds of games. We can play these games for as long as we want until our subscription expires. Games from first party Microsoft Studio and even third party studios are included with Game Pass. Even EA Play membership is included. In India, Microsoft even supports UPI mode of payment. We also get to play many AAA games day one of their release. First, I'll be downloading Nukem 9's mod from Nexus Mods website. Need to have a free Nexus Mods account in order to download any stuff from here. We'll be using Build 0.1. 3.0 universal version, click on manual download under universal, then click on so download. We'll be using the latest nightly build of OptiScaler mod available on GitHub. Expand the asset section, click on the .7z link. I'll be using version 0.7.7, preview 7, 2025032 build. We'll be using version 1.2.1 of fake because fake NV API. It will replace NVIDIA reflex with anti lag 2. Expand Asset section, click on the .7z link. Unreal Engine 5 has a bug that causes its lighting to not work properly on Windows PCs with integrated GPUs. So I'll be using D3D12 proxy to fix this issue. Spoof a dedicated GPU. You can download this proxy for free from GitHub. Expand the Asset section, click on the .zip link. First I'll be installing OptiScaler mod. Just open the mods archive file. Copy the highlighted files. Four of them. This mod comes with XCSS version 2. Copy. Open the games install directory. Just open Xbox PC app. Click on my library. Select the game. Stalker 2. Click on three dots here. Click on manage. Click on files. Your game size is around 145 GB. Click on browse here. Open the games install folder. Stalker 2. Open content folder. Open Stalker 2 folder, open Binaries folder, bin GTK folder, paste the mod files here, click on replace, change the name of optiscaler.tll file to winmm.tll, open optiscaler.inf file, set dx12 upscaler to xcss, Set FG type to Nukem's as I'll be using Nukem 9's mod. Won't be using OptiScale FSR frame generation. Click on File, click on Save, Close. Open the Games Install directory again. Open the Games folder, Content folder, Engine, Plugins, Marketplace, DLSS, Binaries, Third Party, Win64. Copy this TLL file nvngx underscore TLSS. Need to paste it in the directory where we pasted OptiScaler mod files. Backtracking. Games install folder. Content. Stalker 2. Binaries. WinGDK. Right here. Change its name to nvngx.tll. Now I'll install Nukem 9's mod. Open the mods archive file. Open DLL underscore version folder, copy this DLL file, DLSS G2FSR3, AMD is better. Just need to paste it in the games, install directory where we paste it OptiScaler mod files. Right here. Now I'll install fake NV API. The process is straightforward, open fake NV API's archive file, copy the two files present inside this archive file. Paste them in the same directory where you pasted OptiScaler mod files. In GTK right here. 
Now I'll install D3 Detail Proxy. Open the Proxy's archive file. Copy the two files present inside this archive file. Here this proxy comes with the DLL file name TXGI. This is why I did not rename optiscaler.dll file to dxgi.dll. I change its name to winmm.dll so that it does not conflict with the DLL file of this proxy. Open the games install directory. Open content folder stalker2 binaries winGTK. Paste the two files here. We are done here. For this game, I have set the UMA buffer size to auto. You can set it to 6 GB as well on ROG LR. I have installed AMD GPU driver adrenaline edition version 25.3.1. My LR is running on BIOS version 341. Using a 30 watts manual profile, all three power values are at 30 watts. 720p resolution CPU boost disabled. Connected my Gulikit KK3 Max gamepad to LR via Bluetooth mode. Launch the game. Shaders will get compiled at startup. The first run will take longer than the subsequent runs. In game settings, everything set to low. The game is still very demanding on the processor, both CPU and GPU. Motion blur disabled. Upscaling method set to DLSS. Mod is working using its performance preset. DLSS frame generation disabled for the time being. Done with the settings. Apply. Display name of the GPU RTX 4090 720p resolution display mode set to full screen borderless. We sync off reflex enable mod will replace it with anti lag 2. Apply using custom afterburn overlay to show you the performance metrics. I'll just enable anti lag 2's latency monitor by pressing its hotkey combo. Alt Shift and L. Keep pressing the keys cycle through the different display options latency value note the settlement area cell is here we are in display is not working properly it's just a white screen i'll show you how to fix this open optiscaler menu by pressing the insert keyboard key i'll increase its size click on the drop down bar next to your scale select 0.9 from this drop down bar select the upscaler I'm using xcss version 2.0.1 the recognize mod is disabled for the time being just need to enable auto exposure setting this will fix the widescreen issue yeah see in the background display is working click on save INI close standing at the entrance of Ceresia it's a heavily populated area night time yeah here FPS is close to 24 very disappointing hitting the GP bottleneck storm is coming lot of non playable characters around me perfect for testing the game 24 to 29 fps you can see the latency value 120 milliseconds oh my god real world input delay latency is inversely proportional to the fps higher the fps lower the latency weather is clearing up better visibility here other entrance these people are guarding the area 23 fps Gameplay is a bit choppy. FSR frame generation does not work during cutscenes. Lighting is working properly, so the proxy that we installed worked. D3D12. Audio is not stuttering though. Enter the bar. See, lighting change. I switched on my flashlight. Turned it off. So dark. Turn on my flashlight. It's working. Image quality is looking average. We are using the performance preset of XCSS upscaler after all. And skip the cutscene. My flashlight got switched off automatically during the cutscene. Okay, before leaving the place, I'll just enable FSR frame generation. It should help in improving the frame pacing. You just need to set TLSS frame generation to on. This will enable the mod FSR frame generation. Back to the game. The yeah, FPS increased to around 50. Not impressive at all. Can observe the added amount of smoothness. Real world input delay. Latency increase but it's manageable. Better than the official FSR frame generation implementation. I'll just leave the place. Game's performance is 
better in the open areas compared to the settlement areas it's the night time it's so dark i'll complete a sub mission need to save one guy near the water tower follow the blue icon on the compass here don't want to get zap equip my gun made to our destination get it got updated i just kill these guys game side elements are not flickering even the subtitles are not flickering mod is working properly it's just that the base performance is very disappointing even raw gal is struggling to maintain a steady 30 fps just kill this guy what happened there he didn't die i am about to die this is not good had to reload my gun sort of shotgun it's not good 50 to 60 fps with frame generation it's very difficult to recommend this game on raw gala performance is still on the lower side out of ammo and the lag too does a decent job of cutting down the latency that's it for the video guys i hope you find it useful thanks for watching and have a nice day